Okay. Welcome everyone to today's webinar. My name is Liz. I'm joined here by, and I'm hopefully saying your name correctly. It's Mariah. Yeah. Mariah. <laughs> yeah. So excited to have Mariah from Backflip on today. We're going to talk about finding deals and uh, funding them and all that good stuff. So thanks for being here on the, uh, our today's webinar. If you can in the chat box, please say hello. Uh, please share where you're, where you're kind of zooming in from, I should say, not calling in because that is old school, but zooming in from, uh, that would be wonderful. Uh, start to get engaged with all of you. We want to make this time well spent. We're going to give everyone another minute to join and we're going to get going. It's a couple minutes after the hour. So uh, I want to be mindful of everyone's time. And Mariah, I don't know if you want to say a quick hello before we yeah. get going. Yeah, of course. Excited to be here um, and hopefully see some, I do see some familiar names from InvestorCon. So that's exciting. Um, and great to see where y'all are from. I'm joining from Montana, Bozeman, Montana. So um, if there's any Montana folks out there, hey, hey. <laughs> yeah, that's, uh, we just started a, pretty sure we just started a Montana investor meetup. So yes, uh, yes, Tori, yeah. she, is, she is awesome. Tori is great. She's a good friend. Um, cool. All right, we're going to get going. So, so welcome everyone. For, for those who are new to our community, to our, uh, our platform, please just pop in new because uh, I really want to give you a special welcome. If this is your first webinar, our first really way to engage with, with the investor community. Awesome. Hi, hi, Mayo, Linda. Hi, Jill. Awesome. Elizabeth, great name. I'm biased. Um, okay. So I'm going to get going here and then I'm going to throw it to Mariah to jump in to, to our content today. So we do these free events. My name is Liz, by the way. I'm the co-founder of the Investor Community. We do these free events uh, usually twice a month to really give you some great content. And I'm really excited about have, having Mariah here. She's one of our valued um, sponsors. They came out to InvestorCon in, in May, and they're just doing a lot of good work in the space of, of this, you know, with regards to their app and how they're helping all investors, right? Um, you know, in various ways. So she's going to get into that today, talking about finding and funding your deals. But Mariah, thanks so much for being on. Thanks for all the support uh, for our community. Of course. Thanks for having me. Yeah. So a couple of things about us for those who are new. Uh, I wanted to share a little bit about our mission and what we stand for, because this is important to kind of reconnect uh, anything we do, anything we're involved in. I just want to share our mission. Our mission is to empower women in real estate to live a financially free and balanced life on their own terms. Um, and what we do is we provide an intimate global platform. Uh, so women can create those deep relationships and, and get the support they need to move the needle, as we always say, on your journey of financial freedom. And so we are building that intimate global platform with all of you. A uh, little bit about how you can get connected to a lot of what we're doing is we have a, a weekly podcast for those who don't know, The Real Estate Investor Show. It is, um, it is twice a week, released twice a week, uh, published by Bigger Pockets. And, uh, you know, we're constantly interviewing, we're almost up to 400 episodes. So we're constantly interviewing women, uh, you know, in the space of investing, business and self-care are, are three pillars. So, so stay tuned on that. We do have investor meetups across the country. We have, we have a few in Canada. Our goal is to have meetups everywhere where women can have local communities to give and get support. You can see all those locations on our website. And we've really cultivated over the last number of years, a, uh, a mentorship program for women who have done five to 10 deals. So if you're looking for a mentorship program, uh, we've really worked very hard at putting a really deep one together to support women who are solopreneurs, who are done doing things themselves, and who really want to surround themselves by like-minded women. Uh, and we, were don't, we, we just made a big shift in that where we were opening the doors twice a year. And now we've um, actually uh, have the ability to open the doors uh, for that all the time. And we have our pods coming up in August. So if it's something you're interested in, I would highly recommend to go to our website and apply. Um, we don't accept everyone. It's, it's kind of an application process so we can get the right fit in, in, in the mentorship program, but definitely check that out. If you've, if you've done deals and you're looking to scale and grow. Um, and for those who don't know, we have a free Facebook community. It is something that we started with many moons ago and with 40 people. And now we're up to almost 15,000 women. And we really take that seriously where you're giving and getting support. It's that ongoing way to stay connected to, to, to us. Um, and we have ongoing events. We also have an EXP team uh, where they're women agents, women real estate agents looking to build their wealth as well. And we're obviously constantly looking for investment opportunities. 
Um, Jess and I are both active investors along with you. Uh, so we're in the game with you as well. So without further ado here, Mariah, you're going to jump in here and, uh, and share, share what you have to share with us today. Uh, excited to have you. And I'll just, from a, from a, a housekeeping perspective, I would recommend everyone to um, put your questions in um, the chat, I'm not the chat box, I'm sorry, the Q&A box. The chat box gets very busy, especially because we have a really super engaged, we almost have 100, 100 people on today's webinar uh, and, and very engaged group of people here. And I, that's what I love about our community. So please chat all you want, but please put your questions in the Q&A box for Mariah. And then Mariah, I'll come back on uh, about 15 minutes of, and if you're earlier, I'll, I'll be right here monitoring and supporting. But um, thanks for being here. Thanks for everyone being here. And let's get into today's topic. Oh, awesome. Thank you so much, Liz. It is such a pleasure to be here. I'm gonna go ahead and start sharing screen. Um, and like I said, it has, it was such an incredible experience for us to be able to see some of y'all, um, in person at investor con. Um, and I just can't say enough about the investor community and how closely it aligns with, uh, what I believe in and then what we're doing at backflip. So, um, excited to talk about funding and funding your deals today. Um, again, put questions in the chat and no questions are off limits. So please ask away. Um, as an introduction, yeah, my name is Mariah Schmidt. I am director of community here at Backflip. Um, I'm a newer investor, but I'm proud to say, um, you know, I've, I've been coached, uh, you know, per investor to say I have two doors, got my first in 21 and then my second one in 2022. So eagerly uh, looking for that next one as well. So I'm, I'm in the throes of it with you as well. And um, really as my role at, at Backflip, um, we're, we're helping to build the investor community as well. So we really closely align with what um, investor is working on. Prior, I worked at, um, this is about my fifth startup. So worked in startups um, and actually was on um, venture capital teams. So helping to fund startups and, and build their communities there as well. Um, quickly, just wanted to know what is Backflip. So really think about Backflip in three different ways. The first is it's a free analyzer tool. So it's an app. You can go ahead, log in and analyze any properties. I love it because it's really breaking down barriers and access to data. We, we actually partner and pay for, pay for data that comes through MLS and through public record data. So um, it's a really beautiful, robust data set, and it gives you a good idea of whether or not a deal is going to be a good, um, good fit. And then secondarily, we have um, lending. So if you, when you're ready to go ahead and, uh, and apply and fund your deal, that's, uh, that's a great place to get it. And then last but not least, I, I would be remiss if I didn't say something about our community. We've got about almost 8,000 members um, across the U.S., and uh, we're a great way to connect with other investors, contractors, vendors, wholesalers, all of that. So um, that's just a qu quick overview of Backflip. But let's get into uh, some of the data that you're, you're more excited about, um, which is talking about sourcing. So as I noted, I'm also looking, um, I think a lot of us are, are looking and sourcing. Um, but one thing I like to talk about, and I think it's an ongoing conversation, um, whether you're a first time investor or you're a continued investor is talking about your buy box. So what's your buy box? Your buy box is essentially your investment strategy. What are the things, the parameters that you want to utilize for you to be able to make some interesting and efficient, um, and obviously profitable, um, investment deals. So defining your buy box, um, it, it's sort of twofold. It'll make you more efficient in your sourcing. And then it'll also give you a better investment discipline. So um, I, I call it a continued conversation because your, your situation can change, right? Maybe you got a second property, a third property, a 10th property. Um, and so you can always be going back to your buy box, refining it and figuring out what works and what doesn't. So some of the things that have helped um, in defining your buy box is obviously location, 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 um, figuring out where where it's located are you close to school zones walking paths rivers entertainment venues what where really is this location and obviously it's important when you're in in your location but it's also doubly as important when you're in, investing 
um, from afar. Uh, I always like to talk a little bit about occupancy rate. So you want to know whether or not your that neighborhood is owner occupied versus renter occupied, and um, that can help you to better understand at the end of the deal: is this going to be a fix and flip? Is this going to be, um, you know, an STR? What, what's the strategy going to be here? Um, and then it also gives you parameters in terms of what type of funding you're going to get. Um, you know, traditionally with with a more like a hard money lender, you're probably not going to be able to be owner occupied. So that you just have to think through some of those strategies. Um, next one is um, your purchase price range. So really looking at uh, your as is value versus your after repair value. Even if those repairs are small, you can make a big difference here. So really figuring out what kind of leverage do you have? Um, and we'll talk about that a little bit more when we when we go through the backflip app um, so that you can actually see this in action and we'll we'll do a deal uh, together. Uh, the next one is percentage of housing units with specific attributes. So that could be, you know, looking at percentage of units that have three plus bedrooms. You're just looking for some commonalities here, whether or not you want to be, um, you know, you want to take it in a unique route and you want to be some, you know, a house that has a unique attribute for the area, or if you want to be more aligned with what's already in the area. And then certainly last but not least, there's tons of data out there. Backflip's a great place to get some of that data, but there's also a ton of public record data that you can get some information on, uh, you know, the demographics of the area, um, you know, whether there's a college in the town. I mean, it, there's a million data points we could talk about there, but um, when you're looking at those, those properties, that you're not familiar with, uh, that that's incredibly important. All right. Um, as, as director of community, um, I think sourcing has a lot to do with your community. And I'm sure most folks in the investor community would say the same thing. Um, so really, I think that's, that's your, your, your overall strategy really revolves around um, your community. You know, they say, if you want to go fast, go alone. And if you want to go far, go together. So this is really what it's all about. So when I'm looking in a new place, when I'm trying to figure out a new market, first and foremost, the easiest way to get in there is social strategy. So join Facebook groups, research who are the, the sort of like large players in the market, figure out, you know, um, how to get on their email list, how you can be involved in both their virtual events and their in-person events, um, and really start to get connected. Uh, I'll say, obviously, you, you should get to know your wholesalers in that market, realtors, uh, other investors and contractors. Sign up for as many emails as, as possible, and we'll talk about that um, in the Backflip app, how you can actually like compile all of those and, and do some deal flow strategy there. But um, Obviously, you're just going to want to be able to utilize, you know, tech and realize, utilize these email lists to your advantage. Um, and then last but not least, obviously, driving for dollars. So, you know, getting out in the field and uh, seeing what you can find on the ground is also su super beneficial as well. All right. So we're talking about funding your deal. I think uh, it's important to talk about uh, a few different things. Specifically, um, if you're looking for a lender, this can also apply if you're thinking about your own capital as well. But um, there's a couple of things you should look for when you're funding your deal. Uh, first and foremost, look at the products. What type of products are um, are the are, is a lender offering? Um, and being able to tell your story to better understand what kind of products are offered to you and where you are in your investment journey is really important. So a lot of what um, we look for is experience um, and, you know, basically background and understanding how to kind of package that in a way that you can really tell your story. So, so lenders will, will, you know, offer products that, that are really tailored to you um, and where you're at in your journey. So I think um, just understanding a full range of products and what you would need to, to access each of those products is is really important. Um, and note that like this is if you're you're working with a you know a long-term lender or, or a hard money lender, like it is a relationship. So getting to know them and being able to tell your story and understand their products is really important. 
Um, the second one is technology. So, you know, I, I like to say it's like meet, meet people where they are um, in terms of technology, but hopefully you're, you're looking at companies that are able to meet you in the field where you are and offer technology products that make your life easier, that make it so that when you're in the, you know, in the field or when you're talking to your contractor, it's just a more seamless seamless product um, and a seamless experience. And so ask them about what tech they offer, ask them about, you know, servicing, ask them about how they're um, doing rehab draws and figure out how they operate. Because if they aren't, if, if a lender or whoever you're working with isn't able to meet you, you know, in where you are in terms of, do you text, do you email, do you FaceTime, do you Zoom? If they're not able to meet you there, that, that relationship can be um, just a little bit more challenging. So I encourage you to to look at the tech piece um, in terms of you know your your lender. Um, and then the last one is around support. So figuring out um, you know this is a lot of relationship based, but what type of support does your lender offer? Um, what kind of network do they have? Can they connect you to the right people? And figuring out what level of support do you need? Some sometimes you might not need much support um, and you just need a quick touch point, or sometimes you might need someone that you can call at 11 PM and say, I'm going through this experience. What do I do? Who can you connect me with? How can you help? Um, and so just understanding that level of support that they're able to offer and that you need um, is really important when you're, when you're thinking about who, who you're funding with. And I think, you know, obviously this is a relationship that's that's going to be ongoing for a specific period of time. So make sure that these are people that you, you know, like and want to be want to be in business with. Um, and then in terms of funding, making sure that you're prepped for that, right? So um, whether this is deal one, deal 20, um, I think it's important to talk about prepping for funding. So um, make sure that you have. Um, all of your options in front of you. So if you're you're looking around, you've got some experience or no experience, you can you can shop around for term sheets. You can figure out what are the best terms that are going to be offered to me. Um, and sometimes that means maybe a little bit higher interest rate for um, you know the support that you need, or maybe that means a lower interest rate for a lower touch point. You can shop around and really figure out, okay, these are all my term sheet options, and then go with one. Um, I encourage you to have a folder of all of your required information so that it's really quick. You can close deals efficiently um, and you can understand just, you know, if they need any documents from you, you've already got it. You're set. You're, you don't need to worry about having to, to draw and pull those from anywhere. So I encourage you to just have a, a folder full of all the essentials. Um, talk through with closing. So figuring out what they need for closing, how, um, how quickly a lender can close and what you're going to need for that, for that day of it is really essential. Um, another one that's important is figuring out rehab draws. So if you're doing, um, you know, some work on your, your property, you need to figure out um, how to get that, that money so that you can pay for all of the, the construction, figure out how they do rehab draws. Um, what's the, the turnaround period? Um, what is what are the requirements for that rehab draw? Um, at Backflip, super easy. It's very tech focused, so we do virtual rehab draws, um, which essentially is just you or your contractor utilizing Zoom pictures, all of that. You send that to us, and uh, we can get that that money back over to you within, I believe, twenty four to forty eight hours. So, just figure out what what kind of timeline you're going to need in terms of getting those funds back into the account so you can make it a really efficient process. Um, and then last but not least, um, talking about servicing. So figuring out um, what the terms of the loan, loans are, loan is, what it's going to look like um, in terms of, you know, long-term, how are there any um, pen, prepayment penalties, all of the sort of like minutia when it comes, when it comes to servicing. So those are, um, those are the some requirements that I think about when you're when you're talking about funding your deal. Um, awesome. Okay, and so now I'm going to see. Let me see if I can. I'm going to stop share, and then I'm going to actually share a screen from my phone so that we can go through and actually look at what this looks like. Um, let's see, on my phone. 
and then we can actually go through a property and see what this looks like. So here we are. Okay, I'm gonna try to get myself out of this screen here. Oh, nope, just kidding. That's my whole face. You don't wanna see that. All right, so here we go. Okay, so when we're talking about the Backflip app, I encourage all of you to download it. Um, it's free. And like I noted prior, um, one of the reasons that we loved going to InvestorCon, I think it was really um, well aligned, was because um, you know they're talking about generational wealth and um, removing some of the access uh, and barriers to understanding um, or to, to to getting into real estate and and generational wealth. So um, Backflip in itself is really re removing some barriers because you get access to all this data for free, um, and it gives you a good gut check of like, is this going to be a good deal or not? Um, I put in <laughs> properties that I'm looking at, um, some of my, you know, the two properties that I already have. Um, and so it's a really interesting way to be able to analyze a property and then be able to look at different comps in the area and apply for, for a loan. So let's look at a property together so we can kind of see what this looks like when you're on the home screen, you can actually just type in an address. I'm going to put in one that we were just working on, um, in Austin, let's see. With stone. Um, and you can um, actually just type in any address that you have and it should pull it up. It pulls up comps within a one mile radius um, within the last six months. So, um, and like I said before, we do partner with um, data providers. So um, it should, should bring up some really interesting information and you can actually send this to your realtor or whoever you're working with um, you know to get a to get a good feel of whether or not this is spot on. So if you look up in the top left hand corner in terms of this analysis, you can see right now we're at 505,000 um, as estimated as is value. And then if you look in the center, we're looking at 918,000 for our after repair value. But what's really interesting is right now it's pulling three comps in the area. And what you could do is you can go to view all this um, view all button right down here. You can click that and you can see which are the properties that it's actually selecting this from. And you can zoom in on this um, map. You can figure out like, you know, what's close to here, what this neighborhood looks like. I love it because it gives me just a, such a better feel for where, you know, where it's located. You can click into the comps that's pulling in and you can decide, you know, is this a relevant comp? Is it not? You're probably going to know your market. Um, you know, by the time you get here, you've done your research, you're probably going to know your market really well and what you're, you're thinking about doing with your property. But you can look through here and say, oh, okay, these have some of the same features that, you know, make it a relevant comp or not. Um, and then you can see how far away it is. And, um, you know, obviously like the price per square foot and all of those details. So what's really cool about this is you can actually remove or add comps in real time. So if I'm like, oh, you know what, this, this one, it doesn't quite look like it's going to be the right fit for us. We can go ahead and remove that in real time. And you can actually see that the, the ARV, the after repair value changed in real time. So you can you can kind of finagle this and figure out, okay, you know, exactly where am I going to be if, um, if I'm trying to make an offer and, and secure this quickly. So um, other thing I wanted to note, um, you can see down here features, um, you know, in terms of how many beds, baths, you can always edit that. So, you know, if you have more details from your wholesaler or whatever, you can, you can update that. Um, and then what's really interesting is, is in terms of the um, calculating whether or not this is a good deal, you can figure that out um, by updating this in real time. Right now it says this looks like a great deal, but we're making some assumptions, right? We're assuming you can purchase this at 505,000, um, but let's say we could get it for 4.99. Um, and then, you know, it's gonna continue to, once we update some of these things, um, you know, if we know we can get our debt financing for different, we can change our rehab costs to, we're only going to put 30,000 in it. Um, you know, we can continue to update this until we want, and then we'll update that in real time. Um, 
In terms of looking at some of these other numbers, you can look at your return on investment, which from this perspective, it looks great. You can look at profit, still looking like a great deal. And then what's really cool is that a lot of what we work on is fix and flip, but we also do a lot of, um, you know, Burr strategy, STR, all that. So um, you can actually change this to a rehab and rent perspective. So if you're looking at it from that perspective, okay, so, you know, this is our monthly cash flow. Um, and we're looking, this is a, a return that we're looking at. So really cool way for you to kind of get a good gut check um, of, of what this looks like. Um, what I love about it as well is you can, um, you can add, once you've searched a property over here, you can look at all your properties. Um, so it'll always know your, um, your deals that you're looking at. You can, um, you can go ahead and share. So if you want to share, you know, you love the app, you can share it. Um, but also you can, you can go ahead and up in this top, you know, right-hand corner, you can just go ahead and share that and you can share it to anybody, um, that uh, you you can send it through text or whatever, so you can send it right to your realtor and say like, hey, this is what I'm this is what I'm getting. Are you getting the same comps? Are you getting the same ideas here? Um, and one other thing here is when you're ready to go ahead and you know apply for a loan, you can go ahead and go to um, loans and you can just say get a loan and you can apply right through here. So um, it's actually pulls all the information through. So even things that we've updated, as you can see the purchase price, you know, the rehab, um, it's updating in real time. And you can go ahead and fill this out uh, and get a term sheet within about two hours or less. The cool thing about this, we don't pull credit and um, it gives you just a really good idea of like, if even if I'm not gonna, you know, buy this property today, what kind of leverage am I going to get? What are the options that I have? And it just gives you a, you know, a more informed way. So there's really no harm in, uh, in applying today. So, um, very, very easy to go ahead and, and, and apply for a loan. Um, last other thing that I was going to share, um, in terms of the app itself is if we go back to the main screen, we talked a little bit about sourcing deals. Um, this is a feature that I love that um, it's not going to work because I'm inside, but it's this live D for D. If you see this little camera right here on the right hand side, you can click that. Um, and what you can do is you're going to see my screen, my computer, but um, you can point this at a property. It'll actually, even if you don't know the address, it'll pull up the address by just pointing your camera. So if you're driving by, you can point your camera at a property that you're interested in it'll pull up the address and you can do a live analysis right in the field. So I, I love that. I think it's so fascinating. That talk is so cool. So um, yeah, that is a quick overview of the app. I, uh, I'll go ahead and stop. Let's see if I can stop sharing the screen here. And um, I want to make sure that we give quite a bit of time um, for our, our uh, Q and A. Let's see if oh. I can do this. Yeah, we got a bunch of questions. Good, um, good. Okay, so let me see if I can X myself out. Of yeah, that was great. Um, with regards to um, Wendy is asking, do you lend to Canadians who are purchasing real estate in the USA? Oh, great question. Um, that I don't know. I will have to follow up. Um, we we just lend within the US, but I'm not sure about Canadians. Great question. Okay. No I problem. also know we have. Um, I think she's on here, Heidi from our team as well. Um, and she she's here to answer questions as well. I don't know if she's on here that we can pull her into the QA, but uh okay. we'd be happy to pull cool. her as well. Um, all right, Carol. Hey Carol, I know Carol well. Um, when I type in an address, I don't get any comps or that before ARV price. Does this only analyze properties that are actively um, listed? Ah, no, it does not, it's not just for actively listed. Um, it could be a super rural area or it could be a bug. Um, like I said, we're a startup. So if you want to send us the, the address, um, we can, we can run either run those manually or just figure out kind of what, what's going on there. And, and Mariah, what's the best way for people to, to reach out to you guys? Like what would you, could you could put that in the chat box that might be helpful Yeah, yeah. in terms I'll of downloading the app and getting in yeah. contact with you guys and everything. Yeah. So I'm putting my email in there. Um, and then let me go ahead and I'll add, um, 
yeah, just a quick download link as well. Um, cool. All right. So I'm going to continue with some questions. Tara is asking, I download the app and there's no option to change the type of loan type option. Flip to hold. Can Mariah show us that again, please? Oh, are you talking about in the top left-hand corner in terms of, I'm assuming in terms of like fix and flip to um, rehab and rent potentially? I don't know. Do you want to just show it? Do you want to just show it again quickly? And yeah, we'll let's see. Let me go ahead and show that. Um, cool. Let me, I think I have to rejoin the session here. Um, cool. Let's, any other questions in the meantime while I bring this up? Yeah. Yeah. We'll keep rolling here. Um, Nikki is asking, does this help you find comps from the MLS and off-market properties? Yes. Um, so we work with a, a variety of um, data providers. They pull from MLS and from public record data. So it goes into the algorithm. Um, and like I said, it brings up comps that are within a one mile radius um, that are most relevant to that, the property you're looking at. Cool. Uh, Michelle. Hey, Michelle. Uh, do you lend to foreign nationals? So do you lend to Canadians? Not ones that are looking to do deals in the U.S., but you may not know that based on the other answer. Yeah, I don't, but okay. I will get that response to y'all. Okay, cool. Um, a follow -up I don't know what that means. Okay, access to this data. Okay, access to this data is awesome, but how does this company generate revenue? Is it from funding option? Teresa, good yeah, question. I love that question. Correct. Yeah. The app is free. It's always free. You can analyze as many properties as you want. We make money off of um, the loans. And so I think right now it's around 4% of folks actually do loans with us. Um, so really our goal is to try to make, you know, your lives easier and uh, get that, that data to you. Cool. All right. Uh, what is, okay. What is the cost and or subscription levels for the app? It's free, right? So that's free. Nice. Easy enough there. Yeah. I just want to make sure. Uh, yeah. Donna, Donna's asking, does the D4D feature help you find, find out the current owner's name and address from public records? Um, it does not currently. Um, it'll give you, you know, the, the whole analysis in terms of, you know, beds, baths, when it was built, you know, the, the typical data that you'll see in an analysis. Um, but it does not show the, the name of the current owner. Cool. And then who are the lending partners in the app? Yeah, great question. So we are actually our own um, lenders. Wow, we're just going to join this 10 times. Um, we have our own our own debt warehouse. Um, and so you'll you'll actually be lending specifically with Backflip. Great. Cool. Um, all right, talking about funding. All right, talk about funding prep. You say that you say that you like experience. How does someone who has only done a few flips get to work with you? Love it. So yeah, we work with um, first time investors. We work with many investors who, you know, 20 plus deals. Um, so we um, typically look at experience in terms of your background. Um, that can be several things. Have you done any, you know, fix and flips? Do you have any rent rental properties? Um, We'll actually look at like, you know, do you have a background in construction? Do you have a background, you know, in a relevant field? Are you a realtor? You know, it's really about like, do you have expertise in the field um, or or sort of like a tangential field that that would be applicable? So um, showing that experience is part of, of the story that you're telling to, to different lenders. Cool. Uh, Marcy, hey, Marcy, uh, is there a way to add your own comps to the app? Ooh, no, not as of now, but that's a great idea. Like I said, we're a startup. So if you see or, you know, want new things, new features, let us know. And uh, that's a really interesting, I haven't heard that one before. Okay. So Nicole's asking, do the lenders and backflip app have limitations on timeline for refinances or it depends on the lender? So backflip does their own lending. She, uh, Mariah just shared that. So yeah. in terms of a timeline for refinance, does it vary or any, any information you can yeah. share about that? Yeah, yeah. So um, we we are typically a twelve month um, loan. There's no prepayment penalty. So you know we have folks that that utilize us, and you know they'll they'll refi out within a month. 
or two weeks. Um, so really it's up to you and what works best uh, on in your, your, you know, specific situation. Got it. Uh, okay, cool. What's the turnaround for general lending decisions? Yeah. So, um, typically from when you apply, um, to closing that's anywhere from, I mean, I've seen it happen in a few days, but really to give us the right amount of time, you could do, you know, seven to 10 days, um, average is probably two week turnaround. Okay, cool. Is there, a, okay. Minimum, minimum credit score required. Is there a minimum? Yeah, you bet. So 640 is minimum credit score. Um, and if you aren't able to, to hit that number, we can talk about guarantors and figure out, you know, ways that, that we can make that work. Cool. Teresa is asking, do you lend on multifamily, uh, properties? Yeah, we do. So we lend single family all the way up to fourplexes. So it's really focused around, um, th those options. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, Christine is asking, where does the app get its data? Yeah. Um, partnerships with multiple data providers. Um, like I said, from MLS and, and public record. Okay, great. Uh, da, 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 are there general? Okay. Are there general lending terms or is each loan treated differently? Kind of answered that. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I think you might be a little bit talking about like term sheets, um, yeah. in which case, like I said, I would encourage you to apply, um, in terms of leverage, we just, we just released a new product that um, is called our zero gravity product. It essentially takes your leverage all the way up to 97%. Um, so if you, you know, you have a few uh, properties under your belt, like you, the leverage is, it gets you to a, a really incredible place. Got it. Cool. Uh, do, 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 do you suggest in full name using your name of, of your business? name. I'm not sure what that means. So we can, I'm assuming they mean lending. Um, we can lend individual, uh, yeah. we can lend to LLCs. Um, so we can, we can do both. Got it. Okay. So Michelle, Hey, Michelle, you know, Michelle. Wow. Uh, <laughs> one of our strive members, uh, I ran a comp on a five unit. I recently purchased the comps are all single family. Is there a way to adjust that, the type of comps in other words, in the app? Got it. Got it. Right now it's really primarily focused on single family up to fourplex. Um, but if you do want to run some analysis with us, just shoot me an email and we can we can run some on the back end. Okay. And then Sheila's asking, are there um DCSR loans? So is there other type of loans that you're offering or depending yeah. on the product or the pro property? Yeah, depending. So we've done a couple DSCR. Um, we're still in like early stage, um, but based on investor needs, we're starting to move in that direction. So, um, oh, yeah. she meant DSCR. That's right. Because I'm like spelling yeah. it, and I'm like DC. I'm like that's how I was getting confused. Okay, yeah. Yeah, I'm like that's not it. Okay, DSCR, gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha, gotcha. I know that's I'm familiar with that, of course. All right, yeah. Christine, you're asking: Are the loan shawls short term, hard money, or thirty term available? So those available short-term and hard money are there. Sounds like you're, you're offering a variety of products. Uh, like I said, we're, we're starting to move into DSCR. Um, but typically our most common are, are, you know, a short-term 12, 12 month, um, hard money loan. Uh, do you get a formal appraisal before closing on a hard money loan? So we can do both. Um, and I love it because we do virtual appraisals. So we can do a virtual appraisal before you close, or we can do a post-close appraisal. And like I said, easy, schedule on Zoom, very simple. Cool. How old is the company? Yeah, we started in 2020. Young. And do the yeah. loans include funds for rehab? It's a good question. Yes, yes. We will fund up to 100% um, of rehab. Okay. Uh, was there an option for sure? Okay. I think you've said this. Is there an option in the app for sh uh, short slash midterm rental analysis? Yes. Um, if you're looking at it from uh, a rehab and rent perspective, yes. And I think we had, we we were going to come back to that. So let me see if I can share a screen and um, share what, let's see. Oh, it says only hosts can share in this meeting. Um, oh, you can, you can't share it again? For some reason. Um, uh, um, there's multiple of me in the. Yeah, in I know. Here, Which so. one is that? Let me yeah. see here. I'll make sure you're. No, you're a co-host. So. 
Um, But yes, you can look at it from a rehab rehab rent perspective. Um, Some of our 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 um, our most common, or or I'd say our our most repeat borrowers um, have been folks who are doing Burr strategy and and all that. So yes, Ursula says she's in the app and entering properties. It's giving her more info needed message and then it doesn't let her continue. So is there a reason for that? Um, I'm assuming maybe a bug, but I'm not sure. Um, unless it's an extremely rural area, it should be pulling up. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I'll, I can post my email again, if that's helpful, but yeah, send yeah. me an email and we'll, we'll work through it. Manage it. Yeah. Uh, R- Renee's saying, does, do you guys work in all States, including California? We lend in 44 states. Here's a link to download. Um, we lend in 44. We are, we have submitted our um, our information and are hopefully, fingers crossed, within the next few months, getting into some of those stickier states. So California, Arizona, um, those are the ones I think we get the mo- most common. Got it. Uh, Agnes is asking: Is D, 4D, and Backflip only available as a phone app? Yes, currently, just as as a phone. Okay. Um, Maya, what is the LTV percentage? And is there a minimum loan amount that you'll loan on? Yeah, yeah. So um, typically, minimum loan amount is um, $65,000. And LTV, yeah, like I said, you can get up your leverage up to around 97% if that's, um, if you have experience. So depending on where you're at, you're probably going to be anywhere from like, 85% 85% all the way up. That's pretty significant. Um, yeah. Okay. Kathy's asking, do you lend in Indiana? Yeah, we do. Cool. Florida? Yep. Someone asked that? Okay. <laughs> cool. All right. You got those taken care of. Um, that's a good question too. Do you fund for new construction on a lot or a teardown? Great question. Um, not currently. Um, we don't do land deals. Um, but hopefully at some point as we continue to grow. Cool. And then Nevada, someone's asking about Nevada. Yep. Okay. Yeah, there's only a couple, like I said, that, that are those, those. People keep different. posting, Wisconsin. <laughs> uh, <but> yes. <laughs> is there a place on your website where they can get to where to go, um, you know, unless their state, uh, you know, if they want to research it, is it on your website? Uh, we just rebranded. So it should be on the website. Um, if so out of, the, out of all the states, which ones don't you lend on? Did you say that already? Um, yeah. So like I said, we're in 44. So right. the big ones that we don't lend um, are California, Arizona. Um, we just started in North and South Carolina. Um, I'll have to get a list over to y'all so you can share in the, in the follow-up email. Yeah. Okay, cool. Awesome. Um, anything else for you, Mariah? This was great. I think the key is to, um, what I love about it is that they, you know, folks can really do some, you know, analysis, um, and then go from there in terms of, okay, how do I, how do I find the right deals and, and then get them funded, which is great, which is awesome that it's a free app. Um, it was one of the questions that was asked. I just want to make sure I didn't miss it. Um, it was actually, it was a, Oh, how can you, can you export a list of the, of D, the D4D to Excel? Is that a possibility? Oh, great question. Um, not that I'm aware of, um, but let me make a note of it. Um, Getting a lot of good ideas here. I know I let, well, see, that's the, that's the joy of working at a, at a startup is that we could build this product and we have built this product with investors. And so it really is um, a beautiful reflection of, of what, uh, what the needs are. Got it. A couple of people just at Lisa asked, she missed the ARV. Um, you said, you said 85% and higher, correct? Depending on variety of, you know, experience. Depends, yeah. It depends on your experience. Um, typically what we're looking for in terms of, you know, uh, what you'll get for your products are, um, experience credit score, and the, and the property itself. Those are like the three main things that we're looking at. Cool. Do you fund on ARV or LT? Okay. Do you fund on ARV or LTV and what percentage? Mm, great question. Um, I don't know if Heidi is in the room. She's, she's probably a better, better response on, on that. Okay. 
Uh, do you lend before a property? Okay. Can you lend before a property is identified? I would think no. Um, no. Uh, that's one of the three things that we're looking for is, is that property. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Awesome. Do you lend a property? Hmm. Good question, especially in today's world of, of creative finances, creative financing. Cindy's asking, do you lend on properties that are partially seller financed? It's actually a good question. Yeah. Um, from, from what I know, yes. Um, we can, we can work with that for sure. Okay. All right, cool. Well, we're going to wrap things up yeah, uh, with, with every it. webinar we do, Mariah. Thank you so much. This was great. I yeah, uh, highly recommend everyone to download the app and uh, it's free, like, like Mariah said, and, and um, sounds like there's some follow-up questions. Sounds like, and, and what's really neat about Mariah and her team, very open, excited, and, and, and willing and supportive of our community. So ask questions and, and, and we'll get the support that we need um, you know, for you. Really quick, I'd love for everyone, just as we end, to share one takeaway, one something that, something that they learned, something that they're taking away from this webinar. Uh, anything that we do, anything we're involved in, uh, we really want to make sure your, your time is well spent and that you're, you're gaining something to grow your portfolio. That's the whole point of why we exist, right? is that women are taking actions to move the needle and grow your grow your portfolio on your own terms. So love to hear any takeaways, any learned lessons, anything that's helpful for you as you move forward on your path. It'd be great to just put that in the chat box. Um, Marcy, one of our Strive members, I learned it was reminded that there are higher LTVs out there. That is true. And that's a good thing. Um, the live drive, excited to see the app, live driving for dollars camera application. So helpful. Very cool. Love that I can analyze it. Yep, in the field. Yeah, analyzing the, the field is great. Uh, very cool. I learned about backflip. Very cool. Well, thank you everyone for being on. Mariah, thank you so much again. We'll yeah, get this, um, the ability for people to download the app and your information on the follow-up that goes out. And um, just thank you so much. Appreciate all your time. And everyone, thank you so much for being on today. Thank you so much. All right, have a great day, everybody. Take care.